welcome back to my channel or hello 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 if you're new um, my name is Shannon I have had this channel for a little while now um, I've done some Disney vlogs some kind of homey vlogs Q&A's challenges um, but I kind of tend to do just homey lifestyle normal 26 year old content normal 26 year old who likes Disney content <laughs> um, and yeah so today I thought I would do a favourites video a kind of lockdown favourites what I've just been enjoying over this what 11 weeks now of lockdown um it's hard to think back to kind of what I was enjoying at the beginning of lockdown because it feels like absolutely ages ago but then at the same time it's gone really quick I thought I would just do this so I can look back and remember what I liked to do during lockdown. So I think first of all, um, I'm going to start with like TV favourites just because I need to remember those. <laughs> um, I don't obviously have them like physically here. So at the beginning of lockdown, our TV favourite was Ozark. Um, we, I think we started it at the beginning of lockdown. We were like, right, OK, we're going to have some time on our hands let's get into a series um, because before lockdown like a lot of our time in the evenings we'd just like go to the gym and then have dinner and that would be our evening like we didn't really have time to watch a series but we did so yeah we started watching Ozark and absolutely loved it we don't really like rush through series sometimes we do but I know that like my family kind of watched it like that but yeah we watched it over quite a few weeks and we really really enjoyed it um, I think it's definitely coming back so yeah I'm looking forward to that it's kind of Breaking Bad vibes if you've seen that um when we were watching it I was kind of thinking Breaking Bad was slightly better but I think it's just because it was the first type of thing that I'd seen that was like that um but in actual fact I think Ozark is probably better and also obviously it's a lot more recent whereas Breaking Bad's like 10 years old or even more now so seems a bit dated but um yeah it's kind of like drug criminal kind of thing but I'm not mega into like violence or anything like that there's a little bit of that in that the first episode I was like oh I don't think this is going to be for me but it's not as bad the whole way through and it's just more like I prefer like the relationship side of things um and like the characters rather than like the shocking stuff but it's really really good if you like Breaking Bad I would definitely recommend Ozark um next tv show that we've enjoyed or I've enjoyed Ollie hates but always watches um is Glow Up I had not heard of Glow Up until about three days ago <laughs> um until my friend Sarah recommended it to me and I watched them all in like two days so now I'm up to date I'm like watching them with everyone else I think the new one came out yesterday but I've not seen it yet um it's basically like a makeup competition um so I think I don't know if they start with like 10 contestants or something like that um but there's two judges and they're really good like you know sometimes on tv shows is that Ollie blowing his nose outside <laughs> on tv shows the judges can be a bit like bit much like but they're actually really quite friendly obviously if they don't like something they say but it's just not nasty and it doesn't get bitchy and I don't know it's just quite a nice show and it's nice to watch something where people actually have like talent it's like a reality show but they're actually focusing on something you know um and I really enjoy makeup I'm not like really good at it but I just really enjoy makeup so for me it's like right up my street I remember there was a show I think I looked it up and I think it was like I don't even remember how many years ago. I think it was like five, six years ago this show was on. I didn't realise it was that long ago. Um, it was called Hair. And so if any of you guys remember that, it was like a hair competition where they would have like a theme and they'd have models and they'd have to like do like super creative. It's not just, you know, plaits or whatever. It was like big fancy hair. And same with the makeup. It's not just all makeup. They use like materials and they use prosthetics and it's really, really good. So if you're into makeup or that sounds like up your street, I would definitely recommend it. It's on BBC iPlayer. And I've got to say that Ozark is on Netflix. So next favourites I'm gonna do just like what I've enjoyed wearing I guess during lockdown. Um, first of all is this lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. I'm wearing it right now um, and this is in the shade Fenty Glow and it's a gloss bomb. Um, I had heard a lot about Fenty lip glosses. I don't really wear lip glosses as much. Like I have a lot of lipsticks and I have a lot of liquid lipsticks. Um, I wanted something a bit more like casual and that it didn't matter if it wore away in the day and things like that um just while we're at home like yeah and I'm really enjoying it I think I don't know I just like how it looks um so I'd definitely like to try some other shades of this I think it was 17 pounds but I paid for it with boot, 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 boot. <laughs> I paid for it with boots points so yeah I would recommend this 
My next thing that I am enjoying to wear, but I did only get yesterday, <laughs> so not really, but other ones that I have are headbands and I really like the ones with like bows. So I have like scarves that I wrap around my head and obviously tie myself, but then they slide and move and they annoy me. But I like how they look on me the most. Um, I have other headbands that are just like normal. I've got one here. I like to wear, but it's like just got a knot on the top. And like when I wear it, I don't know, I just feel like it, because I've got a big forehead, I just feel like it just makes my head like even, do you know what I mean? It's like, whatever. So I really wanted ones that were like with a bow. So I got these, I ordered three. So this one's like leopard print, if you can see. Um, it's really cute. And then I ordered this one, which is like, um, like Mickey Mouse shorts and little shoes and stuff. Obviously, maybe not with this jumper because there's a lot going on, but if you can see, it's probably a bit too washed out. I ordered another one that was like Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh pattern. And I just think they're really cute. I don't know. I really like them. They were £5.50 each. I've messed up my hair now. Um, and I got them from a company I found on Facebook called Fizzy Flamingo, I think. Um, there was like a three week wait time. I think she might have done them sooner than that. I'm not sure. But basically I ordered these before I lost my job and then I lost my job. So I probably wouldn't have placed that order if I had lost my job. But I'm glad I have them now. Um, they're really cute. When I first got them, I thought they looked really small like compared to my head, but they fit absolutely fine. I like those. Another thing I've really been enjoying wearing, but I don't have it right here, is my dressing gown. I have two dressing gowns. I have like a towel dressing gown that I love to wear when I get out of the bath. And then I have another one that's got a hood and it's like really cozy and so soft. Like I used to have one from Primark, but I feel like Primark start, stuff starts really soft and fluffy, but it goes just like quite flat, quite quick. Um, so we were in House of Fraser, I think, um, on my birthday and Ollie decided to get me a new dressing gown <laughs> and it was from, I think it was from Biba maybe. Um, so it was a little bit more expensive but it's so cozy and it's like kept so like big and fluffy and I have worn it to death during lockdown. Like it's just so cozy. I just, I'm always in my dressing gown. So not the, you know, fanciest of things but we're not going out. So <laughs> I'm really enjoying my dressing gown. Um, and then my last thing that I've enjoyed wearing is my jumper. I made this this week and it's got the stars on the back and it's all different stars and I just love it. I just love this jumper. It's like leopard print stars and camo stars and all different stars like holographic ones. I just really, 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 really am so happy with this jumper. I did post a picture of this on my Instagram and I did have a lot of people messaging me asking if I would consider making them to sell and like it's not that I'm fussy over people having the same as me because I think that would be so so cool like I'd love to make these to sell but they did it did take quite a long time to make so just in terms of it being like a good price for you guys and it also be worth my time um I'm not sure if I could do a price that you guys would want to pay for it. Um, but I really, really, really am so obsessed with this jumper. I just think it looks so cool. And I've I've not seen anything like this like in the high street or anything. I just think it's so cool and it's so different. And it's like, it's like garish, but because it's on a grey jumper, I feel like it's also not. Like it's just, it's just my perfect jumper. I am obsessed with this jumper. <laughs> The next thing, if you can't tell, <laughs> I've been obsessed with is smoothies. I have been so into smoothies for the last couple of weeks during lockdown. They're just so good. Like, oh. mm. we always have like frozen fruit in the freezer, like frozen berries and things like that. And so I'll do like frozen strawberries or blueberries or raspberries um, with like a fresh banana and a little bit of juice or whatever really, some apples or literally whatever we have, like bung it all in. I have started to add agave nectar, like a tiny little bit of agave nectar just to make it a little bit sweeter. Sometimes the ones with like raspberries and things can be a little bit tart, but I just am obsessed. I, every day I'm like, mm, mm, mm. it's good. <laughs> this one is almost like a frozen cocktail. So just without the alcohol, but it's good. 
another thing I've been enjoying is reading my magazines. Um, these aren't actually the newest ones. I think these are the month before last and the month before that. Um, this magazine called Happy Fall. I've talked about it a bit on my Instagram as well. Um, I discovered this August last year when we were on holiday. They actually have a website where you can read all of their magazines for free. Um, so I definitely recommend that. Like on holiday, I just had it all on my iPad and I was just downloading them as I went. And it's amazing to have like such good magazines for free. Um, I personally do like to buy it just because I feel like when I'm wanting to read a magazine, it's to be away from my screen. And if I'm reading it on my iPad, it kind of takes away from that. But obviously each to their own and if I was kind of traveling or reading it on a train or something like that then I mean not many of us are traveling on the train right now but yeah then an iPad or your phone would be absolutely fine and obviously it's free whereas these I pay four pound each for um but I think I've kept a stash of them and I'm either going to keep them for me because it's super helpful to be able to read over or I might donate them to my counselling office when this whole virus thing is over because their waiting room has got magazines from like 2003 and they're like okay magazines. So I feel like a mental health magazine would be a lot better for a waiting room, for a counselling waiting room than okay, where it's like so old and so much body shaming and all of that. So yeah, um, I really, really, really enjoy this. Um, I don't know if I've actually said what it is, but it says the magazine devoted to mental health and it's just so good like it talks about all sorts of different kind of mental health um illnesses that you might not even know about um it teaches you just so much and it teaches you how to kind of change thought processes and it's just amazing it's got like nice news as well like it doesn't really have anything negative but like at the beginning it will have like things that have happened this month that are really good it's like missing cat found visiting local mental health patient there was this cat and she went missing and she was making visits to her local mental health unit at the local hospital this cat like it's just cute you know um it's talking about like music therapy and just here is like just this well-being page has always got really nice little news stories and things. Um, it's also got this page, which I normally do straight away. I've not actually done this one. Um, it's like a crossword or things like that. Um, but it's really good. I really, really would recommend this because it's just nice to take 10, 20 minutes, an hour out, reading a magazine that's all focused on your mental well-being. I just think, why would you not want to spend some time doing that we always have things to learn you guys know I preach about mental health all the bloody time but um yeah I would really recommend this like just go on their website and have a browse through some of the old ones you can see like here on the cover is Saffron Barker but there's been all sorts of different like celebrities on the cover um and they normally have like an interview obviously Saffron has an interview in that one but yeah I would definitely definitely recommend Happy Fall magazine I'm nearly at the end of my favourites this I don't think this has really been that interesting, sorry. But I think everyone has heard me harp on about this game. But this game has been incredible during lockdown. We got it as a wedding gift with another game from one of my work colleagues. And it's so thoughtful. He put like a note in saying that this comes up on like the game charts or whatever for being one of the top couple games. Because obviously a lot of games need more than two people to be kind of good. Um, when we first got it, we were like, patchwork, like what? We've got to make a quilt and obviously like the box, I don't know, it's just like we kind of did judge the box by its cover because it just looks a little bit strange. But when we actually played it, we have been obsessed with it since. So it's basically like, kind of like Tetris. So you each have a grid that looks like this and there's basically all different shaped bits and you have to like fill up your grid um, obviously they go in the squares, I'm not doing a great job, but you have to fill up your grid and like make all the bits go together, but you lay them out, there's probably videos on YouTube, but um, yeah, it's like you have to buy the bits, you have to earn money and you have to do it and then obviously the bits run out and when you get to the end of like the gameplay board you have to like count up how much money and how many blank spaces you have and you get like deducted points if you have any blank spaces on your grid. I don't know, it's probably, I don't know how I'm making it sound, probably not great, but we've really enjoyed it. Like, 
we have spent so many hours playing that game. Um, it's quite a quick game, I'd say like half an hour, 20 minutes. Um, unless you're playing with Ollie, who like really likes to think about everything. Um, but yeah, I just really, really enjoy that game. I think it's on Amazon. Um, I don't know now, obviously with the current situation, but I would recommend this game to everyone. Um, and I don't really like recommended things to people just because I worry if they don't like it. Like I feel really guilty. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm like, do you know what? I recommended it because I liked it. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But that's you, isn't it? So <laughs> anyway, I think that is it for my like lockdown favourites. Um, what else have I been doing during lockdown? Um doing my Hamilton orders, I've been YouTubing, YouTubing, I make it sound like I'm freaking grandma, like, oh, you've been doing the YouTubing, dear? Yes, I have. I've been doing weekly vlogs, and I've been editing my Disney vlogs, and I enjoy it so much. I think for the last couple of weeks, um, I've filmed a couple of videos, but they're not going to be going up for a little while, um, but in terms of, like, weekly vlogs and stuff, I've filmed bits, but I don't know, like, I lost my job a couple of weeks ago and that threw me um I'm fine like I actually I'm absolutely fine about it but it still did just throw me a bit um and I've not been feeling that well um sometimes so yeah I've just not filmed a ton but it's not because I don't want to like I absolutely do so that's why I woke up this morning I was like I'm in the mood let's film this video let's get it up and yeah thank you so much for watching I'm sorry if this was boring but I hope you Hopefully found some new recommendations of things to watch or things to do. Um, definitely check out Happy Fool magazine. I love it. It sounds like a freaking ad. It's absolutely not. I just love Happy Fool magazine. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I would absolutely love to get to a thousand subscribers. I think I'm on like 800 now, which is insane, 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 insane. But imagine if I got to a thousand, like... I don't know. I don't know if that will ever happen, but we can see. We can see if we can make it happen. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. We cross over borders to get where we are. And it's all for you. It's all for you.